So Jesse and I arrive at the range and they're waiting on us. Guys, we're really fortunate today the friends of NRA have brought in Jesse, who is the reigning pistol world champion and has, like us, has repeated several times. And we also have another gentleman, Matt, has been a professional baseball player. Let's oh, welcome on to our program, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'd like to give you one of our team oh, shirts. Wow. Oh, Thank you. Wow. To our surprise, Kurt had two shirts made for Matt and I, so we are actually part of the Arlington Trappers now. A varsity squad over here to field seven, JV's to field six. Squad ready? We could tell right away when we met Kurt that he was a great coach just by him saying that before he wants these kids to be good shooters, he wants them to be better people first. Whoa. They're taught, the squad leaders are told, they have to go out to eat, go to a movie, do something together every week. Oh, that's nice. They're really, really tight on the squads by the end of the year. I like Coach Simons. He takes time out of his day for all of us individually, no matter if we're the best shooter or the worst shooter. Watching these kids shoot, uh, it's obvious why they have a national championship. They have a lot of really standout individuals on this group, but the, it's the whole team that makes up the, the group that goes out and competes uh, nationally. Cool. It's prepared me for so many different things. I mean, it's given me confidence to do anything that I think I can do. So how long have you been shooting? Just this year. Just this year? This year. Wow. I won the ladies' JV third place. First year. Wow. You did awesome. Uh, I think one of the main keys for our success is if all shooters are treated equally, we emphasize the fact that we want to make them better people and better citizens. The shooting and the safety come in with that. What made you decide to get involved with the shooting thing? It looks fun. Yeah. <laughs> it is fun, isn't it? It yeah. is. Really nerve-wracking to get up in front of a couple hundred people and be in a shoot-off at the national championships and then going to school, Ooh. wanting to be the best out here and then wanting to be the best in the classroom, kind of go hand in hand. The Friends of NRA program, becoming involved in the youth shooting sports through donations and help like that is very welcomed and needed and very much appreciated. This team has received some grant money that helps them with their ammo and you know a lot of their gear traveling to be able to be able to come out here. I mean, it, it costs money to do all this. And, you know, he said uh, they had a budget of about a hundred thousand dollars, and the NRA helps with that money. So it's not just you know going and having a good meal and having a good bank. Yeah. I mean, you get to actually plug the money back in, and this is the proof of it right here. We had a wonderful time here with the Trappers. We really enjoyed getting to see them do their thing, to meet Kurt. He's a wonderful coach. He's doing a great thing with these kids here at Arlington High School. We finish up with the Arlington Trappers, and we get a call from Mike Webb, who is the senior field director for the Friends of NRA program in Tennessee. And he tells us that, uh, hey, if we've got time, I'd love for you to stop by Guns and Ammo and visit with Bert. Bert, the owner, donates tons of high-end 1911s to all of the Friends of NRA banquets. The guns that he's giving to the banquet are raising money that helps fund some ammunition for the Arlington Trappers that we just saw. So he definitely wanted to stop by Guns and Ammo and visit with Bert a little bit and just show our appreciation for all he does with the Friends program.